Welcome to a new episode of my Linux driver tutorials. Today I want to talk about dynamic memory management in a Linux kernel module. So let's start. If you're writing a C program for Linux user space and you want to allocate some memory, what you normally do is you're using the malloc function. So the malloc function will allocate a piece of memory and return a pointer to it to your program. And then if you want to release this piece of memory again and give it back to the operating system, you're normally using the free function. But this is for user space programs. For kernel programs or Linux kernel modules, there are other functions available. And today I want to show you these functions. So here I am connected to my Raspberry Pi over SSH and let me cd into my Linux driver tutorials folder. Here I am, and as a template for this video, I will use the simple Linux kernel module, which is just a hello world Linux kernel module. So let me copy it and create a new folder I will call 23 malloc. And let me change into this folder. Inside this folder, we have two files. The first one is the source code for our Linux kernel module, and the second one is a make file to build the source code. And the first thing I will do is I will rename my source code file to alloc test.c. And I have to change this in the make file as well. Alloc test. Okay. Okay, so now let's open up the source file and edit the kernel module. So here you can see the source code for a simple Hello World Linux kernel module. Here we have an init function which is called when the module is loaded and here we have an exit function which is loaded when the module is removed from the kernel. And first I will change the description to demonstration for um, dynamic memory management in a Linux kernel module. Okay, and first I have to uh, add some includes. For the memory management functions, I have to include linux slash slab.h. And as I will use some strings here, I have to include string.h, uh, linux slash string.h. Okay, now I will declare a struct from the type driver data and this struct will have two variables. The first one is an 8-bit unset integer variable. I will call version. And the second variable is an array of chores. I will call text and I will give it 64 chores here. And then I will create two pointers. The first pointer is from the type unset integer 32-bit and I will call it pointer1. And the second pointer will be from the type driver data and I will call it pointer2. Okay, so now let's go to the init function and let's do some dynamic memory allocation. So if I want to allocate memory for my for a 32-bit integer variable, I can use the function kmalloc and as an argument I have to pass the size of memory I want to allocate in bytes. So I will use size of um, unsigned int32 to get the size. And the second argument contains some flags, which will tell the kernel how the memory should be allocated. And if you just want to allocate some kernel uh, memory, you can use gfp kernel. But this memory may sleep. And for example, if you have an atomic operation, you can use gfp under atomic and then this memory won't sleep and it will be in, in an atomic context. So yeah, there are various other flags available. So if you want, so check them out. I will put a link to the description where you can find all these flags. Okay, after allocating the memory, we have to test if the allocation works. So therefore I will just compare my pointer to now because if there is no memory left to allocate, it will return a null pointer here. And in this case, I will print out alloc test out of memory. 
and I will quit my program with minus one here. Okay, but in case this worked, let's print out um, which value is currently behind pointer one. And this should be a random value. And now to set this memory, we can use um, star and the name of the pointer, and then we can assign any value to it. Here I will use cool code, and let's, let, then let's print out the value once again. To free the memory, I will use the function kfree, and all it needs is a pointer to the memory we want to um, release. Okay, but one disadvantage of if you are using kmalloc, it will allocate a piece of memory, but but it won't initialize it with any given value. So here we should see a random value. Let's say we want to allocate a piece of memory and initialize it with zero. So therefore, there is a function available, and this function is called kzalloc. So let me copy these nine lines here. And now let's use kzalloc, and this time we should see the initial value is zero here. Okay, so much for allocating memory for a um, simple integer variable. Now let's try to allocate memory for our driver data struct. So this works just the same. So I will use kzalloc here to initialize everything with zero. This time I want to um, allocate size of struct driver data bytes. And again I will use gfp kernel as my flag. And then again I have to test if pointer 2 is equals to null, because if so, we are out of memory. Okay. And now let's initialize the values. So let's set version to one, two, three, and let's copy a string into our data field. So pointer two data should be, this is a test string for my Linux kernel module. Okay. And now let's print out the data. So once again, version and I want to print out the version as a decimal value version and let's print out the data. data. Okay and this time I won't do the freeing in the probe function or in the init function I will do this in the exit function so here again I will first print out the version and the data field here and then I will use k free to free the memory because if you're dynamically allocating memory it's always important to free it after you're done or after you don't need it any longer. Okay so now let me try to compile my Linux kernel module. This will take a few seconds. And let's see how much mistakes I've made. Whoa whoa quite quite a bit. Pointer to data is no member. Okay. How did I call it then? Text. Okay. This should be data, not text. Sorry for this. Okay, let's build it again and this time it should work. Okay, looks good. Okay, let's look at the kernel slog. Okay, so here we have allocated pointer one successfully, and here we have a, a random value because we have used k malloc. Here we have used k z c malloc alloc, and the value is zero initialized. And here we see um, allocating the driver data struct also worked. And if I remove it now, let's look at the kernel slog again. 
yeah, we can see we got the fields of this um, driver data struct print out once again and we freed pointer two. Okay, so that's how to use dynamic uh, memory management from a Linux kernel module. Till now I haven't needed it, but for future videos I have to use it or I will need it, so I thought it's worth making a video about it. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy my coffee and buy my coffee.com slash for Linux. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.